Hey everyone, Tiger Tanaka here, and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. In the last part, we went through all of Fortree City, got the Devon Scope from Steven, and found out that these invisible objects are actually Kecleon camouflaging themselves. In this part, let's go ahead and get rid of this Kecleon so we can finally get to the gym. Oh, it just fled. Oh well. Well, let's go ahead and into the gym we go. Yo, how's it going, Champion Bound Anthony? Fortress City Gym Leader Winona is a master of flying type Pokemon. She's waiting at the back of this gym, behind the rotating doors. She's waiting for new challengers who are trying to take wing. Okay, go for it. So with this, uh, the gym has these rotating bars. They're used in airports, I just don't remember what they're called. But yeah, there is a bunch of flying type trainers here. So let's battle them all. Unfortunately, I don't really have any super effective moves against flying types, so I'm pretty much relying on my overpoweredness. Humberto. Interesting name. Skarmory is lower special defense, so hopefully Surf will be able to two-shot it. That'd be nice. It can. Good. Makes things a lot easier. But I'm actually debating on whether or not using the Ice Beam TM in this gym or not. So it'll actually help a lot. We'll see what happens with the gym first though, if I absolutely need it or not. Got a double battle here. Behold the elegant battle style of bird Pokemon. Winona taught me personally, you can't beat me easily. Oh, I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will. Jared and Ashley. Doduo and Swubbly. You, you just said that you were taught personally and then you send out the weakest shit. Surf spam. Wow, the Doduo actually survived that. I'm surprised. Okay, let's fly and surf. Wow, I'm actually surprised that these Swablu are tanking these hits so well. Okay, what is going on here? There we go. Jeez. <laughs> Swablu KO'd itself because of rough skin. That's, that's great. Well, that was an interesting battle. Got whirlwinded out quite a few times. Anyway, Pelipper leveled up, so let's go ahead and switch things around. Zigzagoon got an item. Repel. Okay, Tentacruel, your turn. Lombre is not going to be a very useful Pokemon in this gym. Uh, what can I do here? I guess we got to do it like this. There we go. It's always a puzzle. There's no need for a Winona or a gym leader to deal with you. I'm plenty good enough to beat you. The lovers of bird Pokemon aspire to join this gym. As a member of the Fortree Gym, I'm not allowed to lose. So do you get fired if you do? That's kind of cruel, especially since you get mugged for all your money. Anyway, more Surf Spam! Man, these Pokemon are a lot tankier than I remember. Holy crap, am I glad Pelipper protected. Endeavor makes it so that the enemy has the same HP that the user has. Unless that the Pokemon has less HP than you. That way they can't gain HP from it. So, uh, let's go ahead and use one of those Soda Pops, because I need to start using those up. And then we'll have Swampert use Surf, because that's my best shot. Alright, let's use another one just to be safe. And we'll swamp or use Surf again. I would very much appreciate it if you could stop Protect Spamming there, Palipper. Let's use Strength on it. There. Now then, actually, Tentacruel can just KO them both with Surf or Acid. There. Jeez. Shouldn't have been that hard. Alright, um, I guess Sharpedo can start trying its own fights now. Well, let's go and battle this guy over here. 
You'd better know that they're all f sorts of flying type Pokemon. You do know that, right? Yeah, you just hardly have any of them. That's a bad choice. Uh, go Pelipper. It's going to fly. Fly again. And we can just surf it. There we go. Okay, how to do this now? Ooh. How do we do this? Okay, I think I know how. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, yeah, now I know how to do it. I think. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Okay, got it. This is the one gym puzzle I always have trouble remembering. Anyway, we're at the gym leader now, so... We should probably heal up a bit. If we need to, yes we do. And we can just use one of those regular potions if we have any left. Well, I guess we can just use the orange berries then. Since Tentacruel doesn't need that much healing. And there we go. Alright, let's see how we do here. I am Winona. I am the leader of the Four Tree Pokemon Gym. I have become one with bird Pokemon and have soared the skies. However grueling the battle, we have triumphed with grace. Witness the elegant choreography of bird Pokemon and I. Improper grammar. In that particular instance, it's supposed to be me. Swablu. Normal flying type and really doesn't have anything to offer. So, let's just surf it. Probably be a 2 at KO, maybe a 3 at KO. Yeah, it's 2 at KO. Mirror move. You're not going to do that much damage to me, just saying. Yeah, 11 damage. Bye, Swablu. You did a whole nothing in this battle. However, I'm not that overpowered anymore, so things will start being more difficult from here on out. Let's go and go out to Tentacruel, because... While it's neutral damage from a Grass-type move like Pelipper, Tentacruel is more specially defensive, while Pelipper is more physically defensive. And Acid is in a two-turn attack. Damn! Even with a crit, I'm impressed. It's charging up a Solar Beam! That is one of the strongest Grass-type moves in the game. In fact, it is the strongest Grass-type move in this generation, aside from exclusive moves like Frenzy Plant. However, she screwed herself out of healing there, because with Solar Beam, you can't do anything while you're charging it up. So, she guaranteed me the KO there. Altaria is her strongest Pokemon, and don't be deceived by it being a Dragon Flying type, it can learn Earthquake. So, she has that in mind. My best bet here is to go into Swampert. However, uh, Altaria can also learn Solar Beam via TM, so I'm still pretty concerned about that. It can also, in fact, I know it has this for a fact, it has Dragon Dance. It increases its attack and speed by one stage simultaneously. So if you're not very careful, Altaria can sweep you. Because even though Dragon is considered a special type in this generation, it can use Earthquake. It's very bad. Very bad, indeed. It can also paralyze you with this Dragon Breath. However, Swampert's slower than it anyway, so I'm not too concerned. She's going to use a Hyper Potion here to fully heal it. However, that's one less Hyper Potion I have to deal with later, so I'm not too concerned right now. And do one more Strength, and it's, it's got to be using a certain move. Uh-oh, here comes the Dragon Dances. So I better heal up here, otherwise I'm going to risk getting KO'd. Let's go ahead and use one of those Soda Pops. What's she doing now? Earthquake. Glad I healed. Let's see how much damage this does. Okay, still not that much because Swampert's still pretty tanky. However, I still need to be wary of crits. Like that. Still glad I healed. Okay, speaking of healing, I don't need to do it again. And she's probably going to do it again, too. Nope, she didn't, surprisingly. 
Alright, if I can survive Earthquake, Altaria's done. Yep, even if she got a crit, I would've lived that. And with that, I believe that's her strongest Pokemon out of the way. Kinda disappointing, actually. Pelipper! Pelipper's always a tough one for me in all water team. Um, I guess we'll try Tentacruel because it's got residual damage with Wrap, and Acid has a chance to lower its physical defense. And it can't really do all that much to me in return, so it's probably the safest thing I got. Stupid Protect. At least it'll still take damage from Wrap even for Protects. See, I've got the residual damage with Wrap now, so eventually I will be able to KO it. Yeah, you go and do that all you want, you're still taking damage from Wrap. It's chip damage, but it'll work eventually. Aerial Ace has a base 60 power move similar to Swift, in which it can never miss. It's basically the flying type equivalent. So if she doesn't protect this turn, she's done. If she does protect, which doesn't... Okay, Hyper Potion. Free Drum Wrap, so let's use it again. And she can't hit Supersonic for shit. Much like my Pelipper, so now you know my pain, Winona. But yeah, this Pelipper is doing absolute garbage to me. It can't even hit Supersonic, and honestly, that's its best bet. Alright, one more turn and this Pelipper's done for. So one more acid, there we go, Pelipper is down. Alright, what's she sending out next? Skarmory. This is arguably her signature Pokemon, but I consider Altaria to be instead. Uh, I think I'll stick with Tentacruel. So let's go and use Surf. Should be a 2 at KO. Or a one shot because of a critical hit. I'm okay with that. I'm perfectly okay with that. Never before have I seen a trainer command Pokemon with more grace than I. In recognition of your prowess, I present to you this gym badge. And with that, we have the Feather Badge. With the Feather Badge, all Pokemon up to level 70, even those received through trades, will obey your every command. You'll also be able to use the HM move Fly outside of battle. And this, this is a gift from me. And I'll get the TM for Aerial Ace. Normally it wouldn't be a bad choice on Pelipper, but I have Fly now. It's speed. No Pokemon should be able to avoid it. And she registers us in the Pokenav as well. So with that, we have six Gym Badges. We're getting close to the end. So with that, I think that'll... What? Hi, Anthony, it's me. Just as I thought, you won at the Four Tree Gym. Your strength, perhaps you really are the trainer that I have been searching for. Remember, you have a fan in me. I'll be cheering from the sidelines. Keep up the great work. Signs of encouragement, very good. But with that... We're pretty much done, in fact we are done with everything on Fortress City, so next time we'll be heading southeast. So, I will see you guys then.